Hi guys, I've got my uh, I've got my Raspberry Pi connected up to a TV, and what I've been doing, uh, or what I've been trying to do for a while, is get XBMC going, which is a media center thing, and uh, with some help from a few people on the forums, I've managed to get it going. So uh, so I'm going to show that off today. Um, it's still, uh, I suppose, regardless of where the actual XBMC software is. The version for the Raspberry Pi is still in alpha because it's very specific. Um, it has to be specific, like a specific version to run on the hardware. Um, and there's still there's still a couple of problems with it, but on the whole, it's um, it's pretty good. So yeah, so I've got it on a on a big TV, and uh, I've got it connected up to Ethernet as well. So I'm just gonna start it up. Right, yeah, I just have to give me a uh, network connection, a, uh, an address from the router. Um, but the problem with it is at the moment, if you don't give your Ethernet adapter an IP address, then it won't start. Um, but you can just give it any IP address, regardless of it being connected or not, and it will work. But I've just got one from the router because I will actually want to try and play a bit of YouTube on it, <coughs> which I have had working. So anyway, that's that's starting now, uh, and I, I've got to record the screen again because that's really the only the only way to do it. Um, so something that you might notice is that um, it's not really fitting on the screen properly at the moment. Um, so so what you can do is you can go across to system, uh, and I'll just show you that I am running on a Raspberry Pi. Um so <clears throat> how can I show you that? Yeah, there we go. We've got GPU, video core, IV, uh and vendors broadcom. So um so I'm gonna go into system and then settings and you can uh if you go to system again and then video output you can choose video calibration and then that'll let you basically if you see um I can basically adju adjust the screen so that it, so that it does fit properly and I would imagine that you'll be able to save those settings as well um so I think you basically have to just get the blue so it's just off the screen um I think so anyway right so that's fine uh, and then you do the bottom right corner and you have to move that so that fits in the bottom right corner and then this blue bar here and just the way subtitles go so I'm just going to press enter on that and press enter there yeah right that's fine okay so um so I do have an internet connection as well so what I'm going to do is I've installed a uh, a YouTube add-on which is um, which I had, my, I had working upstairs but I'm not sure if the sound worked so that'll be interesting to see um, basically uh, and things are a little bit slow but but um, it's it's really it's really impressive. I'm I wasn't expecting it to be as as uh, as good as it is to be honest. And it is really only an alpha, so there's a, there's still a lot more room for improvement, especially once um, once more people get working on it. But uh, yeah, it is it is a bit of a beast to uh, compile. There's a lot of things that you have to work out to get that going. So I will share my uh, my binary for that at some point, so you don't have to compile it. You can just download the folder that I've that I've made. Okay, so I've just searched for Raspberry Pi tutorials, and uh, you can you can see all my all my videos there. So um, so let's see. 
let's try and play one see what happens and hopefully it, the video looked really smooth so hopefully the sound as well and I think it should play in 720p um, the Raspberry Pi is here uh, and I've been playing with it today so um, I'll just try and show you around the board a little bit I mean I know I know you've already seen it but you might get uh, an idea of the size it's about the same size as as, uh, as my phone anyway <clears throat> and then on the underside um, and I c I'm not sure I think it's playing in 720p there um, so I'm not 100% sure but the, the quality is good and it's not lagging at all um, so so yeah you can play okay, you can so play YouTube which is there uh, which is awesome the HDMI so I'll just uh, just cancel out that USB keyboard and mouse um, which is connected to this monitor here um, uh, See, this is this is why it's still so alpha. It's still a bit, uh, still a bit screen. messy. Um, um, and now, that's probably going to stay like that, which isn't really a, a problem. So yeah, so yeah, you can do YouTube. Um, So this is some 720p video um, from a film called Driver, which is a uh, which runs okay, but it does freeze occasionally. Um, but as I say, it's alpha, so it'll it'll get sorted out. So as you can see, it's a bit jumpy there. I don't know whether that's because it's I'm running it off a flash drive or or something like that. Um, but it, it could even itself out as well, so. So I've brought my uh, my Raspberry Pi back upstairs, so it's now on a monitor um, with a HDMI to DVI cable, and I've also got the analog audio plugged into my speakers, and hopefully we'll be able to get some um, some some analog audio out of it. So audio output, I've changed that to analog. Um, and I'm going to try and play some XVID stuff, just standard resolution. So yeah, um, XVID performance is really good. I can stop, pause, play. I can skip it. Um, stuff like that. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit jumpy, but but yeah. But it's not, it's not laggy. Um, the sound, the analog audio works just as well as HDMI. Um, and I suppose you'd be able to use other sound cards as well when you're doing um, if you wanted like surround sound or something like that. But yeah, uh, it's it's really good, uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, seeing the improvements that that'll uh, hopefully be made in the near future once more um, people have got their hands on the device. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm not sure. If I'm going to be able to keep up the tutorials over the next few weeks, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial tomorrow because um, I've spent so much time trying to get this going for everyone who wants to see it. Um, but I've got exams coming up, so it might not be um, tutorials. Might not be a regular thing. I just might be showing off a, a little thing that I've been able to get going or something like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.